Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I do my removable quick weave wig in 30 minutes. Yes. So today I am using hair from Shea R Hair. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it is an Amazon hair vendor. They sent me four bundles of their body wave and I'm using a closure from somewhere I don't know. So I'm using a shower cap. And then I'm using a dome cap right over that. You want to make sure the dome cap is lined up right on your hairline. And I put on a nude cap right over that just for extra protection. So no glue will get on my hair at all. Alright, so first I'm going to start by gluing the closure down. So you'll need glue, scissors, got to be glue, a comb, a blow dryer, and a clip. All right, so I'm gonna start off by just putting the glue around the edge of the closure. And you wanna use a generous amount so you make sure that it will stick to the cap and it won't go anywhere. Now this part is kinda of difficult doing it on yourself. I kinda of messed up, but it turned out great, so. You just want to put that on there and line it up right with the black cap. Because the black cap is where it's on my hairline. If you can kind of see. So, yeah. Line it up the same as the black cap. The dome cap. And then you just want to make sure that it's extra like straight and secure. You don't want it to have any lumps or bumps in it because... Your wig will not look right. All right, so yeah, just make sure that is flat down. And then I'm gonna use my blow dryer just to dry it to make sure it don't go nowhere. All right, and I'm just gonna clip this back because we don't need to use this right now. All right, and now I'm starting with the longest bundle. I believe it's 20 inch bundle or 22. So I'm gonna measure what I want out, cut it, and then apply the bonding glue to the track. And I always blow it a little bit. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. I'll just do that. And then I'm going to apply it onto my head. And I always start at the back, but you can go around and um, move the track closer to the closure if you want but this is just how I do it I just start in the back and put a couple of tracks and then I make my way up to the closure alright so this is pretty repetitive so I'm just going to let you watch it until I get to the end So I'm almost done just adding a couple more tracks to the top um, I want it to be really close to the closure 
I left a little space um, and right now I'm just putting another track because it was a little too much space and then for the last track I'm just gonna go all the way around and measure it and just apply it like I've been doing then use the blow dryer and that's pretty much it y'all this is such an easy hairstyle like this is my go-to if I need something really quick and easy if I'm like in a rut so I used exactly three bundles of this hair and a closure and um, after I let this down I'm just going to straighten it off camera all right girl and right now I am trying to see where I'm gonna put the part um, I was gonna do a side part because I just love side parts on me but I just couldn't get it right and mainly because of my braiding pattern. Um, I braided my braids like straight down and not straight back. So I really can only do a middle part with this. But I'm going to rebraid my hair straight back and um, it'll be more versatile. So now I'm just going to take some foaming mousse and laying it on the top of the hair. And then using the blow dryer just to dry that. So it can be nice and flat. Okay. And then voila. That is a 30 minute quick weave wig y'all. Like this is so easy and simple. So I just cut off all of that excess cap. And then I just plopped it on. Oh actually I attached an elastic band to the inside to make it really tight and snug. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, comment down below and tell me what you think um, and all of that jazz. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.